This is tandoori chicken with ghee butter basmati. Hey, this is what you're gonna do. We got 12 pieces of drums and thighs together, so six and six. We're gonna do this. Take a sharp knife, watch your hand, please. We're just gonna slit it down, okay? Slit it down because we want the season to go in, so. I want to revisit this just because I did find some cashmere chilies. So last time I made tandoori chicken, you guys like on the way to get the red mark or the red seasoning or the red color to this is not by red food coloring, it's by cashmere chili. So when I found it, I had to do it again just to show you guys. But today our uh, grill doesn't work. So if our grill doesn't work today, we got something else to show you guys, okay? I got a secret for you, so we're just gonna cut it down. <laughs> what am I trying to tell you? Just slice it down. Every piece of my chicken is slit like so. Make sure you do it on a cutting board and just don't do what I just did there because it may be dangerous. Okay, very simple and easy, nice and slit. To 12 pieces, let's season. One and a teaspoon. Salt, black pepper, fresh little craft. Half a tablespoon, ground coriander. Half a tablespoon, ground cumin. One tablespoon. Shrimp, one and a half tablespoon of grand masala. You got one heaping tablespoon paprika, smoke that is. Okay, the main ingredient to this, make it red. Kashmiri chili, two tablespoons of this. We don't have a smoker today, so we're just gonna use liquid smoke. And we don't have any, or we only have some leftover buttermilk left. So we're gonna use buttermilk for that yogurt, okay? Same thing. Work that in, I'm gonna leave this in for one whole day, 24 hours minimum, right? Let it sit. See you tomorrow. Okay, welcome to the next day, ladies and gentlemen. You got a chicken that we have been marinating for 24 hours here, so it's nice and penetrated. Synchronize all around our tray here. Oven's preheated at 425. Toss it in for 20 minutes. For now, we're not done yet, okay, Kevin? Relax. Okay, 20 minutes in. Broiling. We're gonna get some char on that, okay? Let's do five minutes on each side, but keep an eye on it. Last night too, ladies and gentlemen, I did have some basmati soaking and clean and wash. Clean this twice, soak it overnight. We got some boiling water here. We're just gonna cook it like pasta. So, teaspoon salt, basmati, in we go. Was that offensive when I said that? We're gonna cook this like pasta. Well, we are, right? <laughs> Bowling time. Eight minutes. Strain our rice. Strain it all out. Oh man, that's some fragrant rice right there. It's not done yet. With the rice again, we're gonna scoop it right back in to our pot here without the water. One layer, we'll get a tablespoon of ghee. Some ghee. Give this a nice light stir. Put the heat down to a low, about 10 more minutes, okay? My ghee rice. It's just rice or basmati with some ghee in it. Nothing too wild. And this right here, we got oven baked tandoori chicken. Beautiful. The greens all around. Lastly, it's just these onions. Excuse you, my love. Pickled onions and some cashmere as well. Like so. Okay. Very simple, easy tandoori platter, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the 69! All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we have tandoori chicken with ghee, butter, basmati today. I was gonna put cilantro, well, I did have cilantro. I was gonna do cilantro, ghee, butter, but you know what? We do have cilantro right here, okay? Uh, I wanna say thank you guys for, look at this. Look at the quality. Oh, this is baked, all right? This is baked. It's baked and it's not, it's not 
um, grilled. So let's go for it. Super proud of this. Mm. You know what? Wow. Wow. That liquid smoke came through. <laughs> okay. I'm surprised. I only put two tablespoons of it. But this was left at night. If it, it tastes like I've been smoking it for days, you know? Mmm. It's not red red. It's the perfect red. The cashmere red. Mm. What the? Okay, that was a little weird. Okay, let's go. This. Mm. Clean hands. Okay. Ghee butter. Basmati. Let me slide this one. Yeah, let's go. Super hot. Wow. This is the best tandoori chicken I've ever eaten. I eat a lot of tandoori chicken in my life. But I just want to say, this one's really delicious. Right? Ghee butter. But my rice, you don't need that much in there. Nice buttery, ghee buttery, but my rice with well seasoned, smoky tandoori chicken. That's the best tandoori chicken I've ever marinated in my life. Maybe the buttermilk did the trick, I don't know. Because it is very, very, very moist. It's like it was moist as you put yogurt in it. You know, buttermilk is pretty much the same thing as yogurt, you know? Okay, let's get a thigh. Well, you can see the seasoning on it. You definitely see the seasoning on them. It's just packed in for one day right there. Super proud of this. Wow. Wow. This is my first time ever using cashmere chili. And I just want to say, this is my first time ever tasting cashmere chili. Last time I made um, chicken tandoori, a lot of people did say, and I thank you guys for saying that, um, you gotta put cashmere chili to make it red. It's not that red, but it is red. But my question is, So the cashmere chili comes slightly spicy. Yeah. It is a little spicy. Mmm. Next question. Do some Indian chef mm. skip the cashmere chili and just go for a red food color? I use cashmere chili, I want to say the flavors on this chili decadent. Mmm. Wow. Do I have an Indian friend? I don't have an Indian friend. I don't have an Indian friend. You know, I don't have that much friends. 
Come here. Hey, come. You do have friends. Look at your other videos. That's so much friends. Guys, that's my family. We're not friends. <laughs> that was my family. Not my friends. Okay. I want this one. Mmm. You know what I'm thinking right now? I'm thinking how delicious this would be in my butter chicken, but I don't want to waste it in my butter chicken. I'm not no hate against butter chicken, but mmm. I like this a lot. I make this on a special day when our shop open and you guys gotta come and try, all right?